In this problem, we're given a list of endpoints, and we have to find the maximal number of points such that for each pair of points, their distance is two to is two to the power of d. So, like for example, in this one, if we choose the three points seven, three, and five, the distance of seven and three is four, which is two squared. Seven and five is two, which is two to the power of one, and three and five is two, which is also two to the power of one. So. All, all these points are a power of two distance from each other. So the answer to this question is pretty straightforward, but the math is a bit more complex to get to the answer. So let's assume we have four points, uh, A, B, C, D, such that the uh, value of A is less than B, B is less than C, and C is less than D. Now let's assume that the distance of A and B is some two to the power of uh, let's call it x and the distance of b and c is some 2 to the power of y. Now using this what is the distance of a to c? Well that's simply just 2 to the x plus 2 to the y. Alright but can this be a power of 2? Well yes and that's only if x equals y because if x equals y then this becomes yeah 2 to the x plus y it's like if this is like 4 plus 4 this is 8 which is 2 to the cubed this is 8 plus 8 this is equal to 16 which is 2 to the 4 so as long as x and y equal uh, are equal then the distance between a and c is a power of 2 but let's say they're not equal right so what does that mean let's say it's 4 and 8 right so you can write this as 2 times 2 plus 2 times 2 times 2 so here we can take the 4 out in common right so it can be 4 and then 1 plus 2 and what happens in the end is we take some power of 2 out and then we're left with some power of 2 plus 1 and this is always guaranteed to not be a power of 2 and that's why if x and y aren't equal then distance between a and c is not a power of 2. So now if we assume that the distance of, uh, from a to c is a power of 2, then that means x equals y, right? And using that same logic, if we look at the points b, c, c, d, and b, d, that implies that the distance between c and d is also equal to 2 to the x, and this is also 2 to the x. So now once we have this, then the distance between a and d just becomes 3 times 2 to the x because it will be distance of a, b plus the distance of b, c plus the d distance of c, d. And this is for sure not going to be 2 to, 2 to the power of d because we're timing this by 3. So now we know that there can be at most 3 points in our answer. So now since we know that, we can just brute force and see uh, what our answer is and that makes this a lot easier so first thing first we're given oops given some integer n we leave that in and next we're given a list of n elements so for the c and a i and then yeah, so let's sort this first. So A plus A plus N. And now what we can do is actually for the sake of time complexity, let's make a set. I'll just call B and then I'll also insert A I into B. Okay, why is this? so now it's so now what we can do, now that we know that our answer is at, is at most three elements, we can go through every element in our list and then we can check if, actually we don't even have to sort it. And we can check if two to the x, so let's say our element is y. y plus two to the x, and y minus 2 to the x. And if these two elements are there, then we know that 
all three elements can be in there. So to explain that better, we can iterate through all powers of 2, from 2 to the 0, to 2 to the 1, all the way till 2 till the 31st, because the maximum number is 29. And for every element, we can check if y plus 2 to the x and y minus 2 to the x is a number that we have. And if that is the case, then we know those two or those three numbers can form a group of points. And then we do that for all elements in the list, and that's how we get our answer. So then let's have a vector called answer. OK, so we go through the whole list we have, and we go through uh, 2 to the power of 0 till 2 to the power of 31. So what we do is the, our current number is just ai and then our lower x is going to be ai minus 2 to the power of the current j we're at and our right x would be ai plus 2 to the power of the current j we're at. So Let's just create a temp vector which just has x in it. So if we can find lx, uh, it does not equal b dot end. Oh, whoops. So if we can find lx in our uh, set here, which is basically the same as this array then we can just insert that into x and using the same logic if we can find rx in b then we can just push back rx this should be lx yeah oh why you tapped okay so now what we can do is in our temp we can just check if temp dot size is bigger than our actual answer dot size, then answer equals temp. So why is this? So all elements in our temp, we know, can form this group that can be our answer, right? And if temp is bigger than answer, then this group is bigger than any group you've seen before. And we want the uh, maximum possible number of points. So that's why if temp.size is bigger than answer.size, then our answer has to be temp. So then at the very end, we want the size, which is just going to be answer.size. And then for all elements, okay, so for all elements in answer, we just see out element with spaces. And that sh should be good. Okay, three seven five perfect and one eight. Oh yeah, minus one. Because worst case scenario, uh, if it's just one point, that works. And yeah, so we just pick this minus one and that works. Okay. That makes sense. Submit. And voila.